Okay, there we go. Hey guys, it's Music Clues here. And, hey guys, it's Lula, leader of the Go Gamers. And welcome back to our dev update. Well, by the way, speaking of which, which since we are going to be doing this for uh, as a daily thing, um, we would could use some help coming up with an official name for it. <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments below. It, we appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyway, since we're kind of getting into more than just dev updates now. We're talking about speculation. We're talking about community events, we're talking about whatever we feel like ain't talking about anything CFA this that's getting uh, ridiculous. Yeah, so we do need an official name for this. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what you guys th think would be cool. But uh, heads up, because this is a uh, CFA's is pilot thing, it has to be pilot related, so... Yeah. Uh, but anyways... Ways, uh, so yeah, this is for this is our first ever much update. One of four we're gonna have, and two or two away from the big announcement. Announcement that see if he's is gonna announce on the March twentieth, which is the big anniversary for the game. Uh, so yeah. Um, in terms of what the description says, they're gonna be talking about sword combat. Bad improvements and new missionary voyages, and it lays out the combined future for pioneers in the insider program. But we'll get to that as soon as we get there. So, without further ado, let's. Right now, if you watched us last week, uh, they we did react to as as uh, Joe talked about uh, today. Uh, if you actually install the update right now, you're going to see this uh, when it's going to pop up. Uh, we actually have an official date for, uh, Pioneer signups for public signups. Uh, it used to be, they used to be randomized when they would pick people, which is, well, it's not fair at all, to be honest. I don't think anybody like that. Mm, no, especially not you. But now everybody's going to be able to participate, but sure, we'll talk about that more, more in this. So, yeah, without further ado... Let's uh, get into this March 6th, 6th dev update. Right, 2019. Hello everyone, Joni, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. So first of all, I wanted to talk about what's coming in this week's game update. So firstly, we've got some combat tweaks that I've talked about a little bit before. Just a couple of minor changes here for the combat. And the first is we've now added delay after an unsuccessful sword swing. So if you take a swing and you miss someone, you'll get a slight delay. So you can't just kind of hack and slash away without any kind of penalty. Uh, and we've also fixed, the, there was a kind of intermittent bug with the blocking where occasionally if you were blocking, it would just pass straight through. So we've solved that now. So uh, sword combat itself should just be much more robust with this update that's going out. Uh, beyond that, we are continuing to lurk and assess at everything and all the changes that we've made to kind of the flow of combat, especially around the kind of gunplay and looking at any little tweaks and changes that we want to make based on feedback. So uh, in future updates, we're going to be continuing to iterate and uh, improve on the combat experience. We've also made some balancing improvements to the merchant quests and the cargo runs. So for the cargo runs specifically, we've reduced some of the sailing distances uh, on those and we've also made the cargo more robust. Uh, and for uh, both merchant quests and cargo goodness. runs, we've rebalanced them so that it's more rewarding when you actually uh, take these quests. Pause there if you want. We're if also you introducing want to some new talk about that if you want. Uh, yep. Like, let's let's talk about that for a second. Like, they finally reduced the distance, yet they couldn't realize that when they first released it. Really? Like, really? I mean, yeah, I don't... Yeah, it's... Exactly. Like... Joe said, hey, uh, if you want to do do a half-hour play session, you can easily do such and this. Well, you could have realized that when you released that, that you had that in mind, Joe. <sighs> well, at least, at least it will make... Uh, well, at least it will make it more tolerable. And the fact that the cargo is going to be a little bit more varietized. Thank goodness. Goodness, oh! Don't even get me in law started on how many cargo runs we've had fail. Yeah. Oh my God. The cloth 
is what kills it for me, mostly. I think anybody can agree. With Dale Robo, you're done. Yeah, pretty much. You're that in the glass bottles. Done. Uh, that gla- that and the glass bottles. The plants I can tolerate, but the glass bottles are just like, oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the animals. Like, chickens are the easiest where in here. It really depends on how you see it. But I think we can both agree that plants are the easiest as long as they're watered. Yeah, no kid. Which is also makes them hard for somebody who thinks they're the hardest in their downfall because the how they will it's time and of course if you don't have some kind of timer and you don't have it down to exact science then uh, you're done with that. Yeah, but the cloth's just the worst because you gotta keep that stuff. You gotta keep that stuff dry. If it gets wet, say goodbye. But I to those uh, go, uh, to, uh, to all that precious high gold because uh, no one's gonna pay for wet cloth. I know I wouldn't. Yeah, um, and they did say uh, I think and we're gonna probably hear it in a sec here. They did reduce. They did uh, increase uh, the limit on how badly they need to be handled before downgrading. Yeah, I think we're going to hear so that. So, in other words, it's, they're easier to handle now. Which is good. Good, because... Ugh. Let's talk... Right, but we don't know how exactly easier they are. Again, we're just going to have to uh, go in there ourselves and, you know, bring it out for science. Mm-hmm. All right, let's continue. Mercenary voyages. Uh, and specifically one of these is the Reaper's Run voyage. And so this is something that's going to drive players to a specific part of the world. So when you take on this uh, mercenary voyage, it's going to take you to a certain part of the world. So people are going to know that voyages are going on uh, in this part of the world. Along with this, we're bringing in some cool cosmetics uh, that you can earn by doing the Reaper's Run voyage. But to get them, you have to get the legendary commendation. And to do that, you need to equip the Reaper's Mark flag prior to starting the Reaper's Run voyage. So again, like really trying to um, give give some risk and reward to this so that if you're going out and you're wanting to get that cosmetic, you're going to need to have this up so people will know where you are in the world, they know you're on this voyage. And we're really just trying to drive interesting behavior in terms of, um, you know, the the risk that you're going on to going to to take out and do this voyage, but knowing that other players are going to be out there trying to um, kind of get this loot off you. So really looking forward to seeing how this plays out. And just to clarify, the mercenary cosmetics uh, that were part of the Friends Play Free, they will be coming in the next update beyond this, not this one. So previously I've talked quite a lot about making Pioneers an opt-in process, so for people that want to get involved in testing early um, versions no, of the game... Now hang on, before he starts about features. that, let's, let's talk about uh, what you just said between that and Arena for a second. I mean, isn't that what Arena's going to be, where you're going to be at this one spot 24-7 for this one mission? Uh, as far as I know, or at least that they've implied, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, and they just said, oh, hey, we're, uh, with this Reaper Voyage, we're going to make you go to this certain part of the world like everybody else. Which is really, and I know release notes this discussion, he doesn't say in the video whatsoever. Uh, they want everybody going to Wander's Refuge. Wander's Refuge. Now, if you- yeah, now if you don't know that island, uh, it's okay, but explain. Uh, if you do know the island, great, but yeah, if you don't, uh, basically, uh, if you were here playing the game during uh, Curse of it was actually part of uh, the Discovery lore mission uh, to find out why Wanda, you know, made all this Curse of Curse Hale shit happen. Yeah, basically, basically what she said. And actually, if you go there now, by the way, to her hideout, a lot has changed. A lot has has uh, definitely changed. If you want to go check that out. Yeah. Again, we're not gonna spoil it for you, but if you want to take a look for yourself, just no. 
No, that there's a lot, lot that's changed. Right. And I looked again, actually, um, this time around, and it actually changed again. So, yeah, it's constantly changing every, every update, seems. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, uh, let's. Let's continue. And then we'll get after what she's done talking about insiders, we'll obviously talk about that. Mm -hmm. Providing feedback, we would make that uh, an option for, for everyone. So, pleased to announce we finished the work now that will enable this for us, and we're planning to go live with this on the 12th of March. So, it's quite a significant rework of the Pioneer program. So, uh, we've wanted to, we wanted to make it easier to get involved and to provide feedback. We've also taken the opportunity to implement rewards for playing the preview build regularly. So, getting gold doubloons and exclusive cosmetics for taking part in this program that you can obviously use in the main game. Uh, it's been an important part of this step for us. So to enable this, we're relaunching the Insider program. So this was something that we were running uh, leading up to launch. It was a really great way for people to get involved, give feedback, and for, to get kind of insights into what was going on behind the scenes at the studio and the, uh, the upcoming work. Uh, and we really liked that and how it ran, and we kind of haven't really been engaging with that strongly since launch, and so we wanted to take this as an opportunity to kind of combine the two things. So from Tuesday, March the 12th, if you want to sign up and get involved, you'll be signing up to the Insider program, and that will grant you access uh, to our Insider forums and also the ability to get involved in playing that early preview build. Obviously, to get involved with the Insider progress, you'll need to own the full game or have an entitlement for it via Game Pass. So really important to remember with the Insider program is there's still an NDA in place. So if you want to get involved early, you want to start playing upcoming features and, and give feedback then please don't share screenshots please don't share videos and don't share stories or feedback outside of the inside uh, program it's super important we keep it there because you know we're going to be testing up and coming features they're going to be a bit rough and ready um, you know, we want to be able to get things out early and really shape it and get it into the right experience so you know for that broader audience that maybe doesn't want to get involved early they don't want to have spoilers they don't want things revealed before they're ready like it's important that we have that distinction uh, and Again, just a reminder, it's under NDA. Please do not share. So I think that's it from me. Just two weeks to go till our birthday. I'll see you on the seas. And there we go. That's it for the update. So uh, finally. Right. finally. Okay. Hmm? So, so first let's talk about the Insider Program relaunch. Uh, I didn't know he was relaunching again because... He just said, oh, hey, we're going to release uh, the Fine Error Room to everybody now. Uh, but, yeah, um, again, as I said earlier, March 12th, they're making this available to everybody. And it's totally optional, but there are rewards for it. Yes. The only catches, uh, catches is one of the very few, and I mean very few, the uh, betas that we've had that's under NDA. So, in other words... You're not to spill a bee, being about it. I'm a pioneer, but I can't say anything to the public about the public about the private bill because one, one, I'll get suspended, and two, even if I wanted to share, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. I'm not stupid, unlike other people. <laughs> yeah. And I bet we're going to have a lot of abuse like that once this opens up. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, but this is great news for people who have been dying to get uh, access for the beta. Like Laura said earlier, people were, people were chosen at random, so I actually got extremely lucky that I got chosen to play the ga uh, game early. But for people like Laura who wanted to play, she couldn't. Couldn't, so she had to wait basically a year. Well, and I actually, no, it went like this. Let me correct you, it went like this. But pre game in Alpha Beta, if you were in the entire program and you knew about it, then you got the chance to get chosen and you got access no matter what. Uh, it wasn't random at all, you could get in there no problem. Before ah. this, that then it was random. Now, it's actually going to be, uh, like before, where it's public, 100% public. Yeah. Um, um, of course, the question remains to be seen. It's probably going to be through the Insider app, because that's where, obviously, the Insider program, all the beta stuff is, is for stuff like this. So, um, if, you, uh, if you don't have the Insider app, I would recommend to get it. It's a free download on Xbox 
Xbox One through the Xbox Store or a Windows Store if you have Windows 10. 10, and you can basically download and get access to it. But like Joe said, you need to either have one, a full copy of the game, or access to the game via Game Pass. Otherwise, you're out of luck. Right. Also, uh, this is actually a great um, initiative uh, for betas, period. Uh, because uh, Trashcraft, uh, actually, you get beta no matter what. It's uh, a a uh, so um yeah if you get uh if you know you, what I mean the MC yeah I'm aware you probably know what I mean yeah I do <laughs> uh but yeah if you always just join the inside of program then you'll get access to Flashcraft <laughs> I mean Minecraft no matter what but for see if he for any other betas, you need to have the official game or have signed up on the site previously for the beta of that game in order to access it. For, so for Sea of Thieves, you must have a digital version of the game uh, and have it installed directly on Xbox. Um, so here's the catch, though. How large will be the will the beta build be for PC? I'm assuming very, very large. Right, right. Also... Again, as I said earlier, what if people start abusing it more? Uh, what if they, again, limit it down to randomization and, say, and, you know, they just keep in there who already is in there and just weed out the abusers? That would be a bummer, but... Hey, I can't necessarily blame Leo. Thankfully, very little has slipped between the cracks. Not naming names of who's done what, but, uh, with Alina coming up, I wouldn't personally blame them. Right. Um, and they said, uh, Arena should be out for Pioneers right now, by the way, so, uh, that's a, for any of you, uh, getting into Pioneers right now, MC not included, uh, uh, that's the first build we're all going to see as uh, access to Arena. Pro probably. I, uh, I haven't, but um, I should be getting access to it ASAP. Probably the same day the Pioneer's uh, program relaunches. I, I, the one question is, will we have to, for those who have been part of Pioneer, will we have to reapply? Apply. I would I've been in setter program, so do I have to reapply? That's my question too. What? Well, yeah, like, that's, yeah. What if they, what if they purge everyone and make them do it all over again? You know. Yeah, that, that would stink, but nah. Yeah, yeah, it's not like like it's a big deal anyway. Way you say, yeah, I mean, it's not like a public build any anyhow. Now that I would be concerned. Right. Right, right, right. Right, and yes, even though they said NDA or whatever, again, people might end up abusing the crap out of it. What? You never know. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, here's hoping people do it responsibly. But there's not much yeah, hope in and, that. Hmm? And, yeah, as you were about to say, sorry to cut you off, yeah, there's not going to be too much hope that's not going to happen. It is going to happen. We just don't know who's going to do it, and when, and where. Exactly. So, oh, and just so you guys know, if you do do break the rules, rules just like pretty much anything else, else under NDA, you're going to have a severe consequence. So in the case of this, well, say goodbye to all those purchase games on your Microsoft account, because you'll pretty much get suspended and banned, banned from Microsoft. Like, uh, Microsoft in general, if that happens, yes, that includes all of your stuff tied to your ID. Your Xbox games, your Windows license, license, all that. So if you value, value you get games and digital stuff, it's not worth lacking. Trust me, but if you do it... Right. Nope. It, plus, plus, uh, that means, that makes it one step closer to ruining it for everybody. Because, again, they're making this sign up public, so you never know. Uh, they might end up shutting it down if we get abused too much. 
Exactly. So don't be that one person to ruin it for everybody. We got enough of that in the gaming community, and I think one less place could actually be a very nice change of pace for all of us. Yeah. So, but if people are thinking about doing that, that then uh, those of you that want to jump in the Pioneer program and are not going to plan link stuff, jump in now. Otherwise, uh, you know what's going to happen once those people get in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Law is going to do it as soon as the thing goes public. Yep, I'm sure. Yeah, because I'm in the inside program right now, and I've been dying to get in there. Because they said that they randomly pick would pick people. Now, this is part of the old way, by the way. Um, you know, after Alpha Beta and all that. They randomly pick people that were inside the insider pro program. But as, like Joe said, they weren't paying very much attention to that. Exactly. And now they really want to enforce that this time. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely do that. It also helps, though, though you'll get chosen better or faster for the stuff if you've also been uh, involved in many other of Microsoft's other betas and stuff. So if you've like been involved in the Minecraft beta or any other betas that Microsoft's had in the past, past, uh, so it would also really help your repertoire for that. But again, and uh, remember, under NDA, you are not allowed to share with anybody. Just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it for this update. Um. Right. Now, for speculation and stuff, uh, uh, my sources say uh, there's really nothing that got leaked during this uh, week's developer stream. Uh, so nothing big going on there. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, if you were looking for any other info, then uh, this one is kind of a miss other than... Uh, uh, I actually have new Sarms call up call info, but of course uh, I don't know if I should leak it now or hold it off till a special uh, Go Gamers Direct. Yeah, again, again for those who uh, again I'd be surprised if you missed it, but um, again for those who did miss it, unfortunately we've had to pull Sarms call info from the upcoming musical clues to that. Uh, music clues slash go gamers to act. Apologies, uh, but again, I solely blame Laura's college and in general, her busy life. No offense. Yeah, also, uh, family is actually raging lately, has been raging lately. They've been forcing me to rage quit a lot of things because they're. Basically, hovering over my head 24 7. Oh, by the way, if you want to know my levels right now, uh, which actually, uh, I'm going to have a pre stream show and a, then the actual stream. Pyro Legend tonight, guys. It's finally happening. Ginger and I are finally reaching Pyro Legend tonight. Ooh! Well, almost congratulations, relations. Uh, well, I won't say congratulations until you're officially pilot legend, but uh, that's great to hear. Uh, yeah. You want to know how close I am? Uh, Gold Horse and Or Souls. Uh, I wish he was here right now. Uh, this guy, uh, Nay Packwell, Pacewell, is that how I told you his name earlier? Uh, MC? Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you told me. Yeah, Nave Pacewell. Uh, he gave me this uh, stack up whatever, which actually uh, that actually does fall under our Camino news. So let's back up for a second and talk about him. Uh, what he's doing on, up until the deadline, he's doing along with some other. For, other celebrities. He is doing, uh, wait, let me see where it talks about it. He is doing a hashtag getting stacked. 
thing where he buys a bunch of loot for everyone and then just gives it away. So he's becoming the new Frosty MC. We could uh, have Frosty blown out of the water and and Nathan Pace quote could become the new Frosty. Who knows? Well, I'll have to wait and see on that then. Yeah, because Frosty, uh, what him and his guys do, if they have a bunch of loot, but you got to gamble for it. Plus, it's an additional gamble because you got to be on that specific server that he's on. Here, you, it doesn't matter. You get a free invite no matter what, and no questions asked to get the loot. As long as you give your gamer tag, DM to him, you show off your levels. Uh, which, by the way, I gave him mine, and he was like, Woo! You're only... The only reply got to this one after 10 retweets. Holy cow. And... But, yeah. Um, thankfully, he is actually uh, doing this. Like, let me take uh, this uh, quote off him from this tweet he made on Twitter. Uh... Uh, huge shout outs to at Captain Belazona. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, Prescar Omega, Serku Cap Captain Mom. Again, sorry if I pronounced your names wrong. Uh, for helping me with get hashtag getting sacked. All you guys are on my list of true legends. Thanks, heaps, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. Hashtag, we make legends. Hashtag, love this community. Now, that there is pure, true love. Like, we under he gets it that we all have separate lives where we can't be on the game and drunk grind 24-7. So, he is literally taking out that stress for everybody in... Saying, oh, well, uh, here you go. You're in college, okay. Well, here, I'm going to give you this free stack. Well, that explains why you're so close to Pilot Legend, then. Yeah, because I was at uh, 49 last night. I was all 49s, just at 49. And again, this was all a bunch of random loot, by the way. But mostly he had mostly Gold Roar and Or Souls loot stacked up. Uh, I'm, I'm like, uh, I want a picture, mm, good one-tenth away on both Go Horse and Our Souls. Wow, that's going to be amazing. Well, you heard, heard, heard Lola, Lola, so, uh, is right, it plus, so, I'm in, I'm like, I want to say five items away on each of those, and then, uh, for Merchant, uh, I'm actually at the halfway mark. So that's uh, 49 and a half. Ooh. Wow. That's amazing. And by the way, uh, you're nowhere near uh, within a count, being counted as close to Power Legends. So. You wouldn't fall under his thing if you went up to him and said, Hey, can you give me your loot stack? He would say no, because. So, you gotta be within that 45 or higher zone that I recommend if you wanna get that, if you wanna qualify for that loot, guys. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for that heads up. But, uh, uh, like I said, almost congratulations. Uh, congratulations. Uh, that's good to hear, hear, hear that you're that close, Lola. Uh, he is hoping you reach it. Uh, so you heard it, guys. Tonight, Pilot Legend. Legend. I sadly won't be able to... Right. Also, hmm? um, and again, reminder, he's running this up until the deadline. So uh, every couple hours, he's going to have some giveaway on Twitter, um, his Twitter page, which I will retweet every single one. I follow him. So I'm going to retweet every single one. And I'm actually willing to DM him on your behalf. So if you're a CFBS player, yeah, you don't have time to DM yourself. And he has a stack to give away. Just DM me. Uh, it's going to be fine. 
give me your gamer tag and everything. I'll put you on a list. Boom. Free loot. Yeah. Just don't be that per person to sign up and ditch. Please. Yeah. If it's one thing I don't like, it's a, a someone that takes away free loot from others. Others and makes those people wait. Smith. Hey, no respect, I swear. Yeah. Uh, but, um... Alright, now... Uh, so, uh, Ginger's excited. Uh, did, uh, Cluebear hear about this? Does that answer your question? What? No. What? Was he asleep the whole time? Yep. <laughs> uh, the guy, uh, uh, the guy could care less about it, though, probably, even if I woke him up. Uh, but I won't be able to tune in tonight either way. A, unfortunately, uh, way behind on some uh, videos and stuff. Stuff stuff. I still have, uh, well, you guys have seen what I posted recently, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, I unfortunately will not be able to join tonight. But I will at least try to tune in for the stream, stream at the most. Even a uh, pre-stream show? Uh, pre-stream pre show, I can't make a promise, but post-stream, uh, for the f actual stream, I can for sure make it. Alright, perfect. Okay. So, again, guys, uh, highlights for you, uh, of this whole entire thing, in case you just, you're that one person that skips to the end here. Uh, there's really people on that YouTube like that nowadays, but just in case, uh, if you're one get into Pioneer program, <coughs> uh, March 12th, uh, is your time. And actually, uh, we were going to see this, uh, on March 12th, there's also an our Xbox that day. So we're actually going to be doing that. Yeah. As always to avoid copyright issues uh it will be live once again over on the uh go game of twitch so be sure to check it out out over there i will be live once again again with the action so yeah right also uh also if you're uh wanting to get get into pre-show tonight uh there's actually going to be some some call news some and I say some, not all. Not all the details are confirmed here. Okay? Yeah. So there's something for you if uh, you want to get in there. Also, uh, I finally got my restream software to work and all that. So uh, I'll actually be on all of our platforms tonight, actually. Oh, nice. Nice. Good to hear. Okay, so be sure to st st uh, check it out on Mixer, YouTube, and Twitch. If you are uh, uh, wanting to stay tuned, tuned to more see if these also, also we are on Periscope. I managed to get us on Periscope. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, you mean the Twitch? Uh, you mean the uh, Twitter? Uh, Twitter only streaming platform form that sometimes companies use. Ah, gotcha. Okay, wait. Which channel? Which uh, which uh, user username? So I know. Um, I think it's under me. Of course. Uh, if you uh, if you want want the links to her Twitter is below in the description, as it always is. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah. So. Um, but also, also remember, guys, if you watch over from Twitch, there is a chance where you can you can get some exclusive prizes. Mm hmm. All right, yeah, we're introducing uh, Lala coins, uh, or at least that's my currency, unless, uh, I don't know if I change it or whatever, because I did switch over to main hub last night, so who knows, I may have to reset that, I don't know. Uh, we'll get to that again during pre-stream, but um, yeah, basically if you watch over on Twitch, uh, and uh, our... our I 
actually part of a member program on YouTube. Uh, there's going to be some exclusive prizes in store for you during pre- and post-stream shows. Uh, so remember um, to stay before the stream and after the stream if you want to win some prizes, y'all. You had a... You heard that first! Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's really about it. So, real quick, highlights. Um, if you wa wa want to sign up for Pioneers, be sure to do that, uh, do that next week. Uh, March 12th is your time for when it signs up. Also, we'll be live with Inside Xbox on that very same day, so be sure to just tune into the Go Gamers Twitch for that. Um, be sure to tune in later on tonight, night, I want to say, for on the Twitch and Mixer and Periscope and YouTube channels for um, Law and Ginger going to Pilot Legend. And be sure to tune in post and please stream for some exclusive prizes, prizes uh, that you can win. So, yeah. Right. Also, one more thing. One more thing. CC's birthday party for the game. Um, we're going to have exclusive prizes there as well if you're streaming. Or, uh, actually, that's in our uh, prize pot. Uh, that you can actually get a ticket to uh, be part of those streams. Definitely. Uh, don't. And uh, speaking of which, guys, that reminds me. I was actually planning to do a special uh, Sea of Thieves uh, birthday stream to, you know, make up for the lack of Silence Call news in the upcoming MC Direct. So, uh, just a small heads up on that. Uh, but yeah, before this video gets too long, 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 um, I think we better let everybody go. So yeah, thank you once again. Again, yeah. let us know in the comments below if you have a name for our daily chat, uh, chat slash talk. We really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, yeah, also, I think this should be a, t a topic as well. Uh, what does everyone think about the the Pioneer program going public. Do you like it? Do you think people are going to abuse it? Let us know. That, uh, uh, that, that's a good question. Yeah, let us know. Do you think uh, people are going to abuse it? Which would be expected. Or do you think that Sea of Thieves fans are actually going to be trustworthy for once, once and actually not like anything? My sense is I highly doubt it, but you never know. All right, um, that's all for now. Uh, so yeah, stay clued for obviously more videos on the Go Gamers. Uh, be sure to hit the subscribe and join button below uh, to join the membership and obvious uh, join our channel membership. Five dollars, not much. Um, and subscribe obviously to the Go Gamers for more Go Gaming content for both Sea of Thieves and lots of other stuff too. Um, and again, keep an eye. Uh, small one last thing. Keep an eye out for more of Blues Clues to figure out what my Hot secret project is is all of you are gonna to need to work together to find the second, uh, second and third clue. Uh, so get going, go gamers. Counting on ya. This is DJ Music Clues. Mm hmm. Also, okay. Uh, Lula, sign up. And y'all all have a nice gaming day. Bye. Bye.